This lesson will cover steady state well hydraulics in groundwater. The learning objectives for this unit will be to calculate the flow rate of a well in a confined and unconfined aquifer. Based on the flow rate, determine the hydraulic conductivity within the groundwater table and the transmissivity of the well. Based on this information, you can further calculate the drawdown within the well. First, you have a confined aquifer. When a well is placed in a confined aquifer, it will penetrate to the bottom of aquifer. There is a water table, usually above the confined aquifer, called the piezometric surface. As flow is pumped through the well, Q, and out of the confined aquifer, a drawdown occurs of dr dh. From the schematic, the following terms can be defined. B is the thickness of the confined aquifer. H0 is the undisturbed artesian head, referred to as the piezometric surface, and the water table. These three terms can be interchangeable. H is the artesian head at R, where R is some distance away from the well. HW is the water surface within the well. 2RW is the diameter of the well, and Q is the flow out of the well. Based on the well hydraulics, the flow rate can be determined within the well as Q equals 2 pi K times B times the entire quantity H2 minus H1 divided by the natural log of R2 and R1. And T can be K over B, where K is the hydraulic conductivity and T is the transmissivity. Realize R2 and R1 refer to a distance away from the well, and H2 and H1 is the depth of the water in the drawdown at those points. An example will help illustrate our point. Consider a two foot diameter well penetrating vertically through a confined aquifer 50 feet thick. When the well is pumped at 500 gallons per minute, the drawdown in the well 50 feet away is 10 feet and in another well 100 feet away is three feet. What is the head in the pump well, the transmissivity, and the drawdown? Please note that the piezometric head, or the water surface ta water table, is 100 feet from the datum. The first step in solving these problems is to draw a schematic. The schematic is gonna help you understand how to draw the system. So I draw my three wells, I place my confined aquifer, I draw the piezometric head and tell you it's 100 feet. I show you the drawdown within the system and show you what the water surface is at those points. I define the distance away from the main well, which is 50 feet and 100 feet, and the radius is two feet. And we're gonna pump 500 gallons per minute. And the confined aquifer is 50 feet deep. This is really an important step in order to understand what the different pieces are. Next, we're gonna calculate the transmissivity. Remember, transmissivity is K times B, where K is our hydraulic conductivity. We don't know K, thus we need to solve it. K can be solved by rearranging the flow rate equation. Next, we're gonna solve for H2 and H1. Realizing H2 and H1 is measured from the datum, not from the water surface table. Next, we'll plug in our values and determine that the hydraulic conductivity for this particular example is 0.16 gallons per minute per
per square feet. And the transmissivity is 7.9 gallons per minute per foot. So a good way to think of T, the transmissivity, is the, is the, is the rate at which the water is entering through the well. And the conductivity is how the water is moving within the confined aquifer. The next step in our calculation is to determine the pump head. We can rearrange the flow equation to find the water surface in the pump. We determine that the water surface in the pump is equal to 50.6 feet. Next, we are going to calculate the drawdown. The drawdown is the difference between the water surface table and the water in the well. We determined that to be 49.6 feet. Take a minute and pause the video and rewind if you need further assistance with this example. Next, let's talk about an unconfined aquifer. In an unconfined aquifer, you still will receive a drawdown of DRDH. The piezometric head is the same as the water surface table at some distance above the bottom of the unconfined aquifer. The various parameters within the schematic, the, D, the H naught, which is the depth of the piezometric head, R naught is the distance from the well to the water table. H is the artesian head at, point at, a, at a distance R. 2RW is the well diameter, and HW is the water surface within the well. Based on this, we're able to determine the flow rate within an unconfined aquifer as pi times k times the quantity h2 squared minus h1 squared divided by the natural log of r2 over r1. And the hydraulic conduct and the transmissivity is k times h0. So let's solve an example to further illustrate this point. A well that's 12 inches in diameter penetrates 100 and eight foot below the static water table. After a long period of pumping at a rate of 350 gallons per minute, the drawdown in a well is 57 feet, and a drawdown in a well 57 feet and 148 feet from the pump well were found to be 12 and 7.4 feet respectively. Please determine the transmissivity and the drawdown. Again, Drawing a schematic will really help illustrate the point. Next, the solution for transmissivity. We know T is equal to K times H naught. We need to determine K. We rearrange the flow rate equation, solve for H2 and H1, and we determine the K to be 0 0.118 gallons per minute per feet squared. And we find the transmissivity to be 12.4 gallons per minute per foot. Based on this information, we can now determine the solution for the water surface head. By rearranging the flow rate, we find that the head within the well is 68.9 feet, and the drawdown is 108 minus the 68.9, which is 39.1 feet. I hope this helps illustrate the difference between drawdown, transmissivity, hydraulic conductivity, and flow rates within a confined and unconfined aquifer.